Hey y'all, just wanted to come to you today and say thank y'all so much for all the support that you showed while I was out sick. Um, I want to talk to you about that. So this is not gonna be a long video. Um, I'm feeling a lot better as you can see. I am in the living room. I did quarantine. I was on quarantine for 20 days, 20 days. Um, so I started feeling not so good um, right before the six. And then I started having a temp the weekend of the six. And I had a temp for maybe four or five days straight, but it didn't go any higher than like 100.9. Um, so as you know, I have lupus. So I just thought that maybe my lupus was bothering me. Um, and I always run like a low grade temp, but it never goes over 99. But so once it went over 99, I knew that it could not just be the lupus. So um, I went to uh, get a swab done and that was like on the 12th, I believe, a Thursday, the 12th. And it was supposed to be back that Saturday because it's supposed to be two day turnaround. So they're so behind on tests here in South Carolina. They're like seven days behind on tests. So I didn't get my test results until seven days later. Um, but the whole time I was in quarantine, even before I took the test on the 6th, I just went ahead on and separated myself from my family because I wasn't feeling good. So um, I was in my room like brandy sitting up in my room so i just felt bad you know it just felt kind of felt like a little bit of body aches like when i had a little temp my i would get like chills and stuff like that um once the fever left i thought okay well i'm, I'm doing good but the fever left and then i started with the coughing which I still have some of the coughing. Um, someone from um, DHEC, a nurse from DHEC, she called. And so they, you know, they do the, the tracing thing that they talk about on the news. And they ask you these questions, you know, were you, who were you around and who's in your immediate family and did you, you know, go into quarantine and stuff like that? So they didn't call me though until the 19th to tell me that I was positive for. Um, and so, uh, I mean, I had already been in quarantine. They they only require you to be in quarantine for 10 days, unless you still have a temp or you have like a cough that makes you feel bad or you just feel bad in general then they ask you to stay in maybe 20 days so that's what i did i stayed in 20 days and i noticed that since i've been sick though my throat not my throat but i never had like sore throat or anything like that she asked me did i have sore throat didn't have sore throat but i noticed i have dry mouth now i never had that problem before um <clears throat> I, like I said, I still have like a little bit of a lingering cough. Um, and that's about it. I have no temp. I, I feel today is my first day out of quarantine from my room. Um, just trying to stay away from everybody. When my husband would come in town because he drives trucks, he would have to sleep on the couch she did not like that because he has a bad back um so now he can come back into the bedroom um but i still feel like nervous being around them though so um every now and then i'll just like throw my mask on or whatever but because they you know when you call people look at you like and <laughs> especially because they know 
that you had it or whatever. But I'm so thankful because um, there were some moments that I, that really scared me. Um, with the whole, not just with the coughing, like the coughing was like really bad to the point where I found some of my daughter's um, cough medicine that she takes um, is doctor prescribed. So it helped me that first night when I had the coughing. So when they called me that next night, I told her, I said, I need something for the cough. This coughing is horrible. And I'm telling you y'all, it's horrible. Um, you, I'm not coughing up anything. I'm just coughing. And then I would have like heaviness on my chest and it just felt like it was hard to breathe or whatever. And I had moments where I, I really debated, should I go to the emergency room? And so my sister told me about um, what she had been doing. Her cardiologist had given her a link to, I can't remember the doctor, but I'm gonna try to put the link in the description box. And he had told her to, like if she's been around a crowd of people, when she gets home to use her nebulizer, she bought a nebulizer because she doesn't have asthma, but she bought a nebulizer and to fill it one part hydrogen peroxide and one part um, water and to do breathing treatment with it. And so I did that because my daughter had, a, she has asthma, so she has two, she has a new um, nebulizer. So I used the old one. And I'll insert that video here. And um, I did that like two or three times a day, no more than like two minutes at a time because it, it kind of burns your nose, at least for me, it kind of burnt my nose. So I couldn't just stay up in it. But let me tell you, it helped me with that breathing at night. It really did. And um, my mouth is so dry. So <clears throat> what else? I had my notepad. I don't know what I did with it. I think I left it upstairs. But yeah, I think I covered everything. Um, I didn't have any... I didn't throw up or anything like that. You know, you feel like you have the flu, at least for me, I felt like I had the flu, but it was minor. I didn't have any um, vomiting. I didn't have any diarrhea. Um, occasionally my stomach would hurt, but I didn't have any diarrhea or anything like that. I know that's probably TMI, I'm sorry. So, I don't really know i can't really pinpoint like where i could have possibly have gotten it from because when i do go on my grocery hauls y'all i have my mask on i don't stand close to people i stand actually further than the six feet away from people in front of me but then you know you have some people that come up right behind you that they don't know how to give you your space basically and uh I don't know if it could have been from that or um, when we when we went to my son's um, senior night or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I just know that I'm going to definitely limit my trips to the store. I'm gonna have to plan them out better, basically. Like, not just with the list, you know, what do I really need? Is it a need and, or just a want? And um, do it like that because, y'all, it's rough out there. It's really rough out there. Um, my daughter told my grandson and he got really scared and he, I think, cried, she said. You know because of the news and you know so many people have lost their lives from it and so i understood that and i felt so bad about that and i don't want him to ever feel like that or anybody i can tell my husband was scared um he didn't really say he was scared but we talked about stuff and 
I know, you know, I know my husband and I know my kids and um, they were checking on me and stuff. And then there were moments when they just forgot all about me in that doggone room. You know what I'm saying? And then if I ease, if I tried to ease out the room without them knowing it <laughs> to go get me something or whatever, get back in your room. So y'all, y'all, I don't know. It was rough. But I thank y'all so much. Um, I thank y'all for, you know, the kind words. Thank you, Ginger Snaps. Um, DM me and checked on me and stuff like that. So I appreciate that. So y'all, I also want to, I, I really don't want to name everybody, you know, but I do thank everybody. Um, like I said, Ginger Snap, because she DM me. Um, thank you, Sweet Pea. And so thank you also, Virgo Queen T. I messaged her because her husband had used a tea that she said helped him with his symptoms. Um, and so I ordered that tea. I did order it, Virgo. And that tea was disgusting. But I drank it. I held my breath. I used the straw. And I sucked that thing down. <laughs> um i don't know if it helped because i only did it like once but i'm gonna i'm gonna try to do it once a day but i do thank you for that um i appreciate that so 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 much so very very much so i don't want to make this a super long video i just want to say i'm doing a lot better other than the little cough that i still have um i hate my mouth it's so freaking dry like I have never in my life had dry mouth and this is like I didn't text my husband and tell him to get me some mouthwash for dry mouth because I don't know what's going on um. <laughs> so y'all thank y'all for joining me um if you are new to my channel it would mean so so much to me if you would go ahead and hit that red button and join the family and also like this video and feel free to share it out and I just you know am so grateful that the um, the prepping that I had done that I did it <laughs> because the thought of you know my husband won't have to be on the road you know and not having anything in here for the kids to be able to prepare for themselves it's not major you know they cook some but just knowing that they I, it gave me peace of mind that you know i didn't have to worry about them i could actually focus on trying to get better and i didn't just lay around in the bed i did have moments where that's all i could do because i was just out of it but the moments that I did have some energy, I would get up, lay on the floor, try to do some stretches and stuff like that because I just didn't want to lay in the bed and let whatever was going on inside me just settle up in there and get comfortable. So I advise y'all to, you know, take your, they told me to take vitamin C, vitamin D, zinc, um, or I could just take a women's vitamin, which has all of that in it. So that's what my husband went out to get some vitamins for us, for everybody. And also to drink um, the Gatorade Zeros for um, dehydration, I guess. But I didn't, I mean, I was drinking water the whole time, but I don't know. Anyway, y'all, y'all take care. I'm rambling on. And thank y'all again so much. I appreciate each and every one of y'all for being here on Tiny Bites.